Back with you on the FanDuel. Hurry up, Greg Sussman. Gabe Morenci here with you. And we have a couple early games left to get to. And that begins in Carolina with the Carolina Panthers hosting the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They are six-point favorites at home, Gabe. You know, the Carolina Panthers have been a, a staple for me over the years, uh, Greg. And I was very, very high on the Panthers coming into the year. I love their season win total, over eight and a half wins. You'll often hear uh, me use the term perception versus reality. And there's a perception that Carolina aren't that good. I think there's a negativity often around Cam Newton from people that just, quite frankly, don't like him. As we talked about last week, why would Baltimore be favored? Like, I, I still, like, so Carolina beat the Philadelphia Eagles and the Super Bowl champions on the road, but then they go home and, and they're underdogs, which leads us into this week. Last week was last week, and often that's where people get burnt, and this is how I've survived doing this for as long as uh, I've, I have is that I understand that what happened last week won't repeat itself. And you're not betting what happened last week. I think a lot of people will. I think a lot of, you know, as sort of, you know, Johnny Sixpack, let's call him, sort of say, well, look, Carolina beat uh, Philadelphia on the road, and they beat Baltimore last week. How do they not beat up on Tampa Bay here? I like Tampa Bay plus the points here. Now, I, you know, I've been, Carolina's my go-to team. I have that win total, so I want Carolina to win this game. And I think Carolina will win this game, but Carolina have a tendency to take the pedal off the metal at home. And if you want to talk about me knowing teams and not knowing teams, I, I'm inside these guys. I might as well be in a Panther locker room, all right? I know their drill. And when they go on the road, the, the Panthers will be sloppy. They'll do a frenetic comeback, and they usually fall short. They came back, and they ended up winning the game uh, against Philadelphia. At home... They're pretty, they're pretty freaking good at home. And what they'll do is they'll come out. You'll see, oh, the Panthers are up 14 nothing. Oh, they're, they're, they're nailing it. Next thing you know, it'll be 14-7. It'll be 14-10. And then it'll sort of be uh, 21-10. It's like they're like a cat and mouse game, the Panthers. They never really drill you and pull away, but they're never really in danger. I think this Panther team's a lot better than people think they are. But now you got Ryan Fitzpatrick throwing a football. He's carefree. He doesn't care if he throws an interception. He's not feeling any pressure. And he's going to turn the ball over less than Jameis Winston was. Tampa Bay are a mess right now. You can replace Winston and Fitzpatrick and play musical chairs all you want. You're not, it's nothing's changing anything. They need to get new quarterbacks. They need to get new coaches there. Dirk Cutter is also a big problem uh, there. But with that being stated, I think the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are in a nice spot to cover the number here. I think Carolina wins late field goal or Carolina gets backdoored by Ryan Fitzpatrick. Give me uh, the Bucs plus the points.